So now we understand the importance of non-parametric modeling in financial markets because we avoid overfitting a, a lot of benefits. So Gaussian process is just one of ways that you can do non-parametric modeling. It's just a subclass of general class of stochastic processes. So again, we, are, we have a causal model, but now we are interested in modeling with Gaussian process instead of general, instead of previous linear regression uh, that we did with just some overfeeding and the many problems that arises when you're doing some parametric modeling. But now we, we, we because there are some uncertainties, we try to do some belief propagation. You know, in graphical models, there are lots of ideas about why message passing is important. And so we model it with some Gaussian process. So we have a 10 observation in each training set and four variables. Our variables could be USD CAD, Euro USD, and it, the dependent variable is GP USD. But because it's just a, like a random Markov field, it varies. So it's not fixed, but you know the boundary of that, you know, that uh, we are not fixing it, but you know the boundary of that. So we model it with, with covariance. So uh, we have some posterior. So here, uh, we model it using a linear regression, but uh, we, are do, we are a Bayesianist now instead of frequentist. So we say, for example, which, with uh, which confidence are you saying that uh, V is some particular number? And we calculate the posterior. So another idea is using projection, as we did in support vector machine, we project inputs into feature space. And we encode uh, all the knowledge with those kernels. A good kernel uh, could be just like this. We have A and L, uh, and they are hyperparameters. It means that they can uh, be used for uh, to scale it both horizontally and vertically. So we divide our training set uh, we, are, we divide our data set into training set and test set. And uh, using a simple math, you could just read. Uh, if you condition in Y2, you can just read Y1 and predict it. But the problem arises when, when you have a big data. We are in the world of big data. So we, it's very difficult to invert C each time so uh, there are some tricks that we, we can reduce the space you can use uh, less data set less training data but we can choose those training data very intelligently so that in order to reduce the complexity and represent it with just simple simple training set that represent the Gaussian process so there are some there are different articles most uh, there are four important articles about how to reduce and make uh, some sparsity. So uh, we have a so we have a data set, and we are doing KL divergence. KL divergence is just a measure, uh, and it is coming from information theory, Shannon entropy, is a measure of uh, the difference between uh, two probability distributions. And because we want to approximate the Gaussian process, so for example, uh, we approximate Q, we approximate P with Q, but uh, we try to match the moments so that those probability distributions become as close as possible. So uh, we just uh, include it and project it into space. It's just, if you imagine Euclidean space, it's easy to imagine. But in, in function space, in distributions, 
probability distributions, it's an infinite dimensional world. So we have to approximate it and it's very, very difficult. So up to now, we are interested in causality and we do abduction, more than deduction and induction.